Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. So it's been a decade of having braces. It's going to be whiter or maybe darker underneath the braces. My mouth is too small for my tiny teeth. See you tomorrow. Are you ready to see it? So this video will be a little bit more different and it's basically an update on my life and it's a drastic change that I'm going to experience tomorrow by the way. So you probably already seen the title of this video and yes, I do have braces. I have had them for the past 10 years, it's running its 11th year now, so it's been a decade of having braces and tomorrow I am taking them off. So having braces on for 10 years, it's not like normal, it's not on the regular, it's just like exceptional cases and I don't know what exactly to expect tomorrow, will I have something on my teeth? Is it going to be everything fine? Like, I am afraid actually that I'll have like discoloration on my teeth and that it's going to be whiter or maybe darker underneath the braces. Am I gonna look weird? I don't know. You're gonna have to watch throughout the whole video to find out and I will have to wait until tomorrow to find out. So first I just want to tell you my story before everything starts, like I will try to be as quick as possible with it and to explain it as easily as I can and I'm not a dentist, I'm not an orthodontist, I don't fully understand what has happened so I will try and explain it in my own words. So I first got my braces when I was 16 years old and they were supposed to be in for 2-3 years. I was very afraid that it's gonna prolong for 3 years but I never actually expected it to be 10 years. I was hoping that for my high school graduation I will have them off and I was pleased with that idea. And funnily I had my braces on for my university graduation as well. So long story short, when we put my braces on, I still had three of my temporary teeth. They weren't fallen out as they were supposed to be when you're younger. And there was no sign of like my adult teeth coming out or anything like that. And they had to be surgically extracted from wherever they were in my mouth. So that was something that happened very slowly, very gradually. So my temporary teeth were the cunning teeth and one that was over here somewhere and they were all in very difficult positions, of course. And they not only had to be surgically extracted but they were also retained, I believe is the word, which means that instead of like the teeth being like this way, all of them were horizontal in my mouth and one of the cunning teeth was like somewhere in the middle of my mouth so it was very far away from where it was supposed to be and it was good that we actually extracted it and like put it back where it's supposed to be because you never know in what time in what point of your life it might like come out and it's gonna disrupt everything because it was like in the middle of my mouth like can you imagine i don't want to imagine it even so they got surgically extracted, so they had to slowly be made to come up to their normal position and that has to happen very gradually, very slowly because if you do put too much pressure on these teeth, especially because like they are not outside of your mouth still, they are still like inside of you and they are trying to pull them out so they come in their position and then they were supposed to like extract them so they come out to the surface and it has to happen very gradually because otherwise you're gonna lose your teeth like the tooth is gonna fall out basically so it was a very slow process and I also moved to the UK when I graduated uni and everything started happening very slowly because I was only able to come back to Bulgaria for like every 3-4 months, which was not as often as I would like to go, but that's that's what I had to deal with because I made a plan that I would have my braces on for like 2-3 years and that's it. And the plan was just like not to continue with my orthodontist treatment when I'm outside of the UK because I thought that my braces were going to be out at this point, but they weren't. So everything started happening even slower at that point. So very slowly my cannon teeth and the extra one that's like somewhere over here, they came up to their position and now I have like all my adult teeth, I don't have any more temporary teeth in my mouth which is perfect. But then came the complication that my mouth is too small for my tiny teeth and that's why I had to surgically extract my wisdom teeth which is a normal procedure except that they were retained as well. 
so my wisdom teeth were in this position as well and that's not healthy for the rest of your teeth anyway so I had to extract them to free up space and to make sure that they don't harm the teeth that are next to them in general so I did that and then we just started putting all my teeth into place basically so about three years ago I did take off my braces on the lower teeth but when I actually smile you don't really see the lower teeth you mostly see the upper teeth which was something well I am used to it by now I don't remember what it was like not having braces at all I I really I really don't remember <laughs> So yeah, that's my short story which has been going on for 10, almost 11 years and tomorrow I'll be getting my braces off, finally, so that's going to be my smile now. And even though I'll be taking my braces off, I will still have to wear something, I believe. I will find out tomorrow what's going to be the next step of my treatment, but I will see if I'll have like any discoloration or anything, I've been taking care of them, so I very much hope that I don't, I don't want to have any cavities either because I am terrified of those like machines thankfully my best friend is a dentist so she knows how to handle me and she like relaxes me and she'll take care of me so that's my smile at the moment with my braces and tomorrow I am going to film again and show you what it's like afterwards See you tomorrow! Are you ready to see it? Yay! <laughs> no braces! Finally! <sighs> 10 years! <laughs> yeah. uh, that's, that's surreal! I can smile now, well, I've been smiling all the time to be honest, but now it feels like a smile smile. <laughs> so it actually has been already a few days since they took my braces off and I have been getting used to my teeth. You know, it's been 10 years, it's been a decade and I was so used to the braces that I didn't feel like they were braces, they were like part of my teeth. and. Now they're gone and that was so funny. When they first took them out, I checked myself on my iPhone camera and by mistake I took a picture of my actual reaction. So I'm gonna show it right here. Yeah, you can laugh. So I know it looks weird but it felt so weird and it felt like, I don't know, unreal and like it's not me and that's why it's like a disgusted face kind of and it took me like two days to get used to them and I'm still getting used to them to be honest so I don't know how others feel when they take their braces off I, I don't know it, it took me a while to like accept myself to see myself without them I don't know why I don't know if that's strange so what's happening now? I'm still continuing my treatment because my bite is not correct so I'll need another treatment but I'm happy that I have taken my braces off at the moment I am wearing a retainer so that's what I need to wear all the time it just like goes on top of my teeth and I have like a metal wand underneath my bottom ones like behind my bottom ones so that's what I have been wearing now and it took me a while to get used to this one as well to be honest but like everything else you know when you're doing such treatment and today I'm going to the orthodontist again to see what they're gonna say about my bite do I need to wear like another type of dose or I don't know what's happening but I'm happy that my braces are off now and now let's look up close and see if there are any discolorations on my teeth so I'm basically gonna be in your face for a minute or two but in terms of discoloration there is slightly so you can see here there's a, a bit of discoloration demineralization if I'm not wrong and over here as well also about my bite if you are curious for any reason so my teeth are like the top ones are way way in front of like the bottom ones do you see that? So that's not supposed to be like that as well. There's like a lot of space between them and that's not a correct bite. So 
that's what we are going to be tackling now. You might also be wondering if I had any cavities on my top teeth. Well, the good news is I have only one and it's a tiny, tiny one. And it's actually on the side of my front tooth, so here in the middle. And I know exactly why. It's because like I had a lot of things like going on around my front teeth and they were like over each other at some point and there was no way that you can clean them up. Like I have been using a... Um, dental dental floss shower I forgot how it's called I think that's how it's called um, so I've been using that for a while now and I don't even think that cleans up like that bit over here like there's a space at the moment but at some point during a long bit of the time they were like they were like this over each other so if you are interested in how my treatment goes and like teeth whitening and all that jazz that I'm gonna continue doing, let me know down in the comments if you want to see a follow-up of what's happening to my teeth because I'm curious as well. And yeah, that was it for today. It has been a long-awaited video from me. And yeah, stay safe, love you, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye! I can't stop smiling. Bye! Thank you.